Hello friends, it's Pradil Patek this side and you're watching my YouTube channel by Guru. Friends, uh, this is the second tutorial in the series File Handling in Python. Uh, in the last tutorial, we learned how can we create a uh, read, write and append text file. Moving further, here in this tutorial too, we'll be learning a lot of cool steps. Like how can we create folders, how can we change our current working directory, how can we list the content of a directory. And then how can we fetch file information like when it was the file created, when it was last modified and what is the size of the file also we'll be learning how to traverse the directory using python okay so let's get started without wasting any time so before moving to our first topic that is creating folders we will be learning uh, let's see what we learned in the last tutorial we learned how can we create text files so it's very easy see here currently in the folder that i am working with uh, there's a file that is file handling uh, file underscore handling dot py in which i am writing my code which is opened in my sublime text 4 and then there's a folder named Cypress which contains a few more Python files. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just create a simple uh, empty text file. So how to do this? Do this. It's very easy. Uh, first, uh, we have to create an object that is uh, I have named it F. You can give it any name. And then we are going to use the open function. Now, open function takes two things: first the file name and then the mode in which you want to open the file. So I want to open the file in W mode. Okay, first of all, we have to give the file name. Suppose I want to create a file, text file with the name hello.txt, and then uh, I want to open it in W mode. Now W stands for write mode. If you open any file in write mode, a new file will be created. Okay. If I just run this program, you will see an empty text file will be created. See here, an empty text file hello.txt is created here. So this is how you can create text files using Python. So moving further, let's learn how can you create folders. Okay. Um, but before that, suppose I want to know in which particular folder I am currently working. Uh, let's see how can you do this. Uh, this is known as getting current working directory. See here, our second topic is changing current working directory. Let's see how can we know in which folder we are currently working. So for this, we have to import a module that is OS module. Uh, now OS module is uh, available by default with the python installation so you do not need to install it so imp importing it is very easy type import os okay and the next thing is uh, we have a function that is uh, sorry method that is os.getcwd which is get current working directory now if i run this program it will give me uh, the current working directory but let me just put it inside the print uh, function so it's get printed okay so see here it says we are contained the pyguru youtube and then file handling folder okay so see here the pyguru youtube file handling so this is how you can get the current working directory so moon further let's uh, learn our first topic that is how to create folders with python so for this too we are going to use the os module uh, creating folders is very easy uh, we have to use a function that is mkdir method okay make directory so how to do use this os dot mkdir okay here inside it you have to pass the folder by a uh, uh, folder name that you want to create so let's say i want to create a folder by the name test so i'll simply type test and, and run this uh, now if you see here an empty file folder named test will be created okay uh, what uh, suppose if i run this same program again now i'm going to get an error uh, see here we are getting an error that is file exists error cannot create a file when that file already exists it means that since this folder already exists we cannot create a folder by this name so if you do not want to get this error we can do uh, exception handling here uh, let's put all this in a try and accept okay so try and accept see here we are getting an exception here that is file exist error so we are going to use this exception file exist error what we can do we can simply print it something like this uh, folder already exists okay so uh, now if i run this program see uh, instead of getting an ex exception we will simply get a message that is folder already exists okay so this is it how this is how you can create folders using python uh, now suppose you want to create a folder inside this particular folder sorry oops you want to create a folder inside this folder so what you can do uh, simply uh, after test you have to type uh, use the slash and then you have to type the folder name so see here a folder with the name test2 will be created inside the test folder okay 
So if I just run this program, you will see an empty folder test2 will be created inside this test folder. Okay, so this is how you can create folder inside folder using Python. So this was our first topic. Now let's see how can we change our current working directory. Okay, so as we saw, uh, how can we find the current working directory? It is very easy. OS.getcwd will get us the current working directory. Now suppose I do not want to create a file inside this particular folder that is file handling folder but I want to create a text file inside the text folder. So how can we do it? Actually it's very easy. Uh, for this, uh, first of all we have to use the chdir okay, which is change directory uh, which is a method inside the OS. So os.chdir and here you want to pa pass the path of the folder that you want to work with. So I want to work with inside the text folder. So I'll just uh, go this and copy this uh, path from here and paste it uh, here. Okay. Now you have to remove all the backward slashes with the forward slash. Okay. And then this and then this. Okay. So if I just run this program, uh, see nothing happened. But uh, actually our current working directory has been changed. To verify it, we can again use the uh, OS dot get cwd OS dot get cwd and uh, it will print a new path for us d pyguru youtube file uh, previously we were working in the file handling folder but now see we are working under test folder so now if i create a file here so f equals open and hello dot txt and Okay, so uh, let me just put it, uh, give the name hello world.txt. Okay, so you will not get confused. So if I now run this program, see, uh, let me come outside. Yes, so here it was hello, but inside test, uh, hello world.txt will be created since we have changed the current working directory. Okay, so this is how you can change your, your current working directory. Hope you learned this thing. Uh, let's move further. Now we are going to learn how can you list the content of a directory. Okay, so there are a number of ways to uh, list the content of a directory. Uh, again, we are going to use the OS module for this, and OS module is very helpful uh, while working with uh, operating system. Okay, so for this, what you have to do, uh, uh, we are going to use a method that is list dir. Okay, so OS dot list dir. Basically, it lists all the things that are inside a particular folder. So, how to use this? Uh, we are going to apply a for loop on it. For file in os.listdir, we are currently putting this empty. Uh, basically, it takes a path here, but if you just leave this empty, it will give all the files inside the current folder. Okay, And then we are just going to print file here. If I run this, you will see it will print all the things that are uh, inside the folder cipher file py hello.txt and then test so see uh, here this is the cipher folder this is test folder file py and this is hello okay so this is how you can list the content of a directory using python again it's very easy uh, the next thing is uh, fetching file information okay so this was the first way to list the content of directory that is the list dir method there's another method that is scan dir okay so let's see how can we use this so where dot is uh, uh, okay uh, one more thing uh, suppose you want to uh, list the content of some other folder what you do you have to pass the folder path here suppose i want to list the content of this cypher folder so what i have to do i have to simply pass uh, copy this path and you have to pass here okay again we have to remove all the backwards less uh, with the forward less and then this one too and then this one too so if i just now run this uh, it will list all the files inside this particular cyphers folder okay so these are all the files so it's simply it's uh, printing a name of all the files inside the cyphers folder okay so this is how you can list the content of some other directory okay uh, the next method is scan dir method so let's say scan dir method uh, so see here, uh, the first method was this dir, the second method was scan dir. So it's also, it will also print the same thing except this is a directory entry class. Okay. Uh, 
uh, basically there's a, uh, there's a thing that we can do is scan dir we can fetch the file information which we using this scan dir method okay suppose uh, see here our next stop is, is fetching file information so we are just going to use it so let's see how can we fetch file information here i will create a variable called info and if you are using the scan dir you can use another method on this file variable that is stat method so file dot stat okay uh, here if i just print info uh, see here uh, we will get the info of our files so let it get printed first uh, it take few time uh, wait a second so see here uh, it's printing the result of all the files that is inside the file so it says that uh, ST mode 33206, ST I know, ST view, ST when link, ST ID, blah 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 blah. So the thing that you are uh, that is uh, of interest is ST underscore size, ST underscore C time, and ST underscore end time. Basically, ST underscore size is the size of the file, ST underscore end time is the mod last modified time, and ST underscore C time is the time when this was when the file was created. Now, see here, uh, it is printing some numbers okay these are known as timestamp values we cannot read this currently uh, we cannot currently read this value and these values can be created in date and time so we'll be learning how to do this so suppose i want to uh, instead of printing all this info i want to know when the file was first created so we'll simply put print c time okay uh, basically it will be info dot c time not c time okay so if I uh, just run this program, instead of printing all these uh, things, it will simply print, uh, oops, sorry, info dot, uh, oops, uh, my fault, not C time, it's ST underscore C time. So if I just now run this, uh, it will print the creation uh, time of all the files. But see here, we cannot read these numbers, okay? So what we are going to do, uh, if you want to read this, numbers you have to convert it this uh, timestamp values to date and time so for this we have another module that is the time module we are going to use this input time and here there is a method that inside the time module that is time dot c time okay you have to put your info dot stc time inside this method so if i if you now run this program this will convert all the timestamp values to date and time so the first file that is a sky underscore cipher was created on friday july 9 at this particular time in 2021 okay so this is how you can get the time of all the uh, creation time of all the files in your folder let me just copy it and print it back and here instead of c time we'll be using the end time uh, which is modified time okay again this is stamp uh, well, uh, timestamp value now this will, uh, the first thing is the creation time and the second value is the uh, modification time. So this, the first file is sky underscore cipher was last modified on third day, January 14 at this particular time in 2021. Okay. Uh, the next thing is uh, here, you can also print, try printing the file name. Okay. Uh, otherwise you do not, uh, you will not be able to understand what is the name of the file for which we are getting this particular time. Uh, let's also print the size of our file. So how to do this? It's very easy. Uh, print uh, what you do info dot st underscore size. Okay. Uh, remember the size will be in bytes. So and finally we'll be putting a print here. So we'll get an empty line. Okay. So if I now run this, uh, we'll first get the file name then creation time, then modification time, then the size of the file in bytes, okay. So here you can see uh, we are getting the file name, then creation time, modification time and size in bytes. And then this blah blah blah. Uh, so this is how you can get the uh, all the file information using the scan dir method of the OS module. Okay. I hope you understood it. So uh, we'll now move to our last topic of the tutorial that is traversing directories. Now here you can see we have uh, fetched all the information. Now suppose you have multiple folders and you want to know the all the content of all the folders and files inside the uh, particular folder. Suppose I want to know all the things 
uh, this uh, inside this file in a folder and then all the files and folders inside this particular cipher folders too so let's see how can we do this uh, for that we have to uh, we have another method that is walk method okay so this is the topic under traversing directory so let's see how can we do this so here instead of scan dir we are going to use walk okay and instead of ciphers we are going to pass file handling let me just uh, remove all these things here and remember instead of single variable we have to three use three variables here the path then the directory and then the file okay and now if i use print path comma file and if i just run this program you will see it will print the path and all the list all the files of my folder so see here first it's printing uh, d pyguru youtube file handling inside this particular folder we have a list of files like file handling.py and hello.txt and then it will also list all the files inside the cipher folder and then it also list all the files in, uh, inside the test folder and then it will also list all the files inside the test to folder currently there's no file inside the test folder that's why the list is empty okay so the path is printing this thing okay and the file a variable is printing the list okay uh, this thing is uh, very uh, may, uh, you can use this thing in getting uh, you can say uh, suppose you want to know the full size of the directory you can use this os.walk method then okay uh, you can simply just do this and again you have to uh, iterate on the for uh, iterate on this particular list okay uh, let me just show you uh, here what I am going to do instead of doing this first I will simply put uh, print the path and then I will iterate on the list for f in file remember file is a list and then I will print simply f okay uh, now if I run this instead of getting the list I uh, will get the something like this so inside file handling we have two files file handling.py and hello.txt remember it does not print the folder names so okay. it will simply uh, print the file names and then uh, we can also try printing dir which will print the name of the directory okay uh, so see here uh, since we are using files uh, we are getting the name of the files and now we are uh, also printing dir so it will also printing the name of the directory okay so this is how you can print the name uh, find all the files and directories inside a particular folder okay I hope you get it. Uh, let me just simplify it more. Uh, this is the path and for uh, D in DIR. Remember again, it's a uh, list print D and then for F in here, let's just uh, put an empty statement. Okay. So, what will happen now? First, the path will be printed. And then uh, it will list all the name of the folders inside the particular uh, folder, and then it also uh, list the file, all the files inside the particular folder. So let me just run this and show you. Uh, yeah. So see, this is our main folder, and these two are folders inside this particular folder, and these two are the files inside this folder. Then we have moved to another uh, inside that folder that is the ciphers. Inside this, these are all files and no folder. And then we have moved to the test folder. There are two files, test2, two, uh, test2 two is a folder and then hello world.txt. And then finally we are inside the test2 folder which is empty, okay. So this is how you can traverse all the directory using the os.walk method. I hope you understood it. So, yep, this is it for this video guys. If you learned something new, uh, leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to copy move and rename files also we learn how to search files okay yep so this is it uh, goodbye guys take care